Students have complained about the climb up to Ashton since it was completed in 1965. I was at work with uh, my mentor who graduated SPU. She asked me, what dorm are you going to be in? And I said, oh, I, I got into Ashton. And she said, have fun with the hill. And I was like, what? <laughs> so we have uh, the donut run where this year we ate 12 donuts, started from the bottom of the hill near the water and ran all the way up here, ran up <laughs> all six flights of stairs, and then passed out outside over there. A lot of guys threw up. Hill Hall was completed in 1962, and it was named for the Hill family. Hill was the first dorm that housed both men and women at the same time at SPU, and it has been doing so since 1962. The most famous Hill Hall tradition is probably Decade Skate, a lip-syncing competition between the different floors in Hill. Um, this year we did some kind of uh, horror mystery film. Learning the thrill dance that was like the, probably the best part, just learning all the dances together. We know how to bust and move during Halloween now. It was originally known as 70s Skate. In the uh, 2000s, the name was changed to 70s 80s Skate. And then in the teens, they decided that 70s, 80s, 90s skate would be too unwieldy and adopted the nickname Decades. Moyer Hall was completed in 1954, and it was named for Jacob Moyer. Moyer is the oldest of the residence halls on campus. The Moyer Hall traditions included Scrounge Around Seattle, a citywide scavenger hunt, and the Toilet Bowl, a fiercely contested broom ball game pitting Moyer Hall against Marston Watson. Some years the game was played on ice, and some years it wasn't. Most years Marston Watson won. MP is a great event that Hall Council, the Moyer Hall Council, puts on. Um, it's our main event for Moyer. We open our doors to the community and allow everyone to kind of come in and see different, you know, talents around the campus. Our whole dorm was Coney Island, but each floor has their own different theme. So first Moyer's was like magazine. My room did. Um, our fourth theme was magazines, and then we did uh, Sports Illustrated. We, we plastered my face over every photo of the athletes, so when you walked in, it was just a bunch of uh, me doing thousands of sports. It's pretty sweet. Marston Watson was being renovated to go from a residence hall to faculty offices. So the residents of Marston Watson, most of them moved over to Emerson, and they brought their own hall tradition, Coffee House, with them. It was originally known as Marston Mike, and it was an open mic time for SPU students to play music or recite poetry. One of my favorite traditions is Emerson Coffee House. I really love when the dorm can come together and we all listen to music or spoken word. And this past fall, my friend Seth got up and did an impromptu, and I just thought that was really, really awesome. In 2001, Emerson residents started their own tradition to go along with Coffee House. That was the Emerson Film Festival. Uh, they had a red carpet, awards for the best films, 10-minute short films made by the different floors in the dorm. We did, uh, it was called The Walking Dead Week, and it was about zombies taking over during finals. It was really fun just to see like how our floor came together and like made the video. Um, I know the dean waved in it, so it was a really big deal that we got him in our video. He like waved at the zombies, so that was pretty exciting. I always like seeing the big goop during the coffee house and all those other things and just the feeling of community walking through all the floors.